Remembering the mayor of Moraine, Bob Rosencrantz, was killed in a crash in Dayton Friday night. And as word of his death spreads throughout the community, many share their kind words for the family and fond memories of Mayor Rosencrantz. Our coverage of his death and reaction is tonight's Tom Story. Speechless, don't know what to say. 24 hours after Moraine Mayor Bob Rosencrantz was killed in a crash in Dayton, people are just learning of the loss. This was the scene last night. Dayton police say two drivers were drag racing on Gettysburg Avenue at State Route 35 when Rosencrantz's car was hit. Three people inside the white vehicle that witnesses believe caused the crash had to be taken to the hospital. Two nursing students who came up on the crash, they freed a young child. It was real frightening, especially when there's a baby on board and there's nothing you can do. You don't want to move them just any kind of way. And we was afraid that the white car was going to catch on fire. Flakes flew at half-staff outside City of Moraine offices. Deputy Mayor Elaine Allison told 2 News how proud he was of his son who had served overseas and his new grandson. I think the, the thing that Bob will most be remembered about is his love of the city. He just loved Moraine and was so proud of our community. Deputy Mayor Allison will take over for now until a special election in the spring. And she says city leaders are working with the family on some type of memorial service. It's a horrible loss for the city. It really is. Some people liked him. Some people didn't like him. But it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves to die like that. That's just a horrible waste. For me personally, it's a loss of a friend. Well, Mayor Rosencrantz's political past wasn't without controversy. He was recalled by Moraine voters in 2007. Voters then said Rosencrantz wasted tax dollars and did not represent the views of the residents. However, he was then re-elected and took office in January of this year. He was first elected to the Moraine City Council in 1991. We'll have continuing coverage as the community continues to mourn Mayor Rosencrantz's death. You can find more information online at WDTN.com. We'll also pass along any viewing services that we learn of.